This is Nancy Chern and theater critic for the Dallas Morning News. I'm going to tell you about my top five theater picks, the shows I'm most looking forward to seeing and that I think you'll enjoy checking out too. My first pick is The Bridges of Madison County, presented by Dallas Summer Musicals. Composer Jason Robert Brown picked up two Tony Awards for The Bridges of Madison County. It's an adaptation of Robert James Waller's bestseller about Francesca, a lonely housewife who falls for a dashing traveling photographer. The North Texas debut of the national tour features Dallas favorite John Campione as Francesca's son Michael. Tony Award winning Dallas native Michael Yergin designed the sets. My second pick is Company from Brick Road Theater. An ambitious new company, Brick Road Theater, has, has assembled an impressive ensemble for Stephen Sondheim's 1970 multiple Tony Award winning musical at the Courtyard Theater in Plano. The talented cast, directed and choreographed by Linda Leonard, includes Jason Bias, Janelle Lutz, Sarah Powell, and Keeley Kelly James. My third pick is the 17th International Theater Festival from Teatro Dallas. Two unlikely creatures become friends in Snail and Hummingbird. An immigrant makes a difficult journey in parting memories. A woman and a gay man navigate a complex love in another day partying. And Danielle Giorgio Dance Group will premiere Pizzicato as Teatro Dallas presents artists from Mexico and Dallas at Dallas Children's Theater and Teatro Dallas. My fourth pick is Horror Stories by Soul Rep Theater Company. A little girl outsmarts Boo Robbie in Her Stories, Soul Rep Theater Company's adaptation of Her Stories, African American Folk Tales, Fairy Tales, and True Tales, a children's book by Newbery Medal winner Virginia Hamilton. It features original songs and will be performed at South Dallas Cultural Center. My fifth pick is Slave Letters from MBS Productions. MBS Productions will present the world premiere of Mark Bryan Sana's Slave Letters, a play about the experiences of the first slaves in the United States as told through actual letters, transcripts of court cases, and songs from 1640 to 1865. Every patron who attends on Valentine's Day will get chocolates and a rose. This is Nancy Chern and theater critic for the Dallas Morning News. Until next week, I'll see you at the theater.